Welcome to the thought for April the 4th. Our readings are Numbers chapter 19, Proverbs chapter 14, and Galatians chapters 5 and 6. And our thought is, those who belong to Christ. The last two chapters of Paul's letter to the Galatians illustrate the sharp contrast between those who put all the emphasis in their living to observe the law of Moses and practice circumcision in contrast to a belonging to Christ. For in Christ Jesus, writes Paul, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. Chapter 5, verse 6. We are not affected by any advocating keeping the law and circumcision today except for those who believe it is vital as to which day you come together to worship. In writing to the Colossians, Paul advised, Let no one pass judgment on you in questions of food or drink, or with regard to a festival or a new moon or a Sabbath. Chapter 2, verse 16. Our salvation does not depend on us observing rules or days, other than the simplicity and wonder of remembering that Christ died for us. Baptised believers are to meet in remembrance of his death in the way Jesus instituted before his death, as we read last week, by prayerfully meeting to partake of bread and wine, as Luke 22 verses 14 to 20 tells us, as the new covenant in my blood, replacing the old covenant under the law of Moses. There is no command as to on which day of the week this was to be observed, but initially, after the dramatic events on the day of Pentecost, with about 3,000 being baptised, they met day by day, breaking bread in their homes, we read in Acts chapter 2. Acts 20 tells us that they met to break bread on the first day of the week, but there is no command about this. Paul told the Galatians they should be led by the Spirit, you are not under the law, chapter 5 verse 18 and that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Verse 22 and 23. Now, to produce good fruit on a tree, much pruning, tending, watering, and protection from predators is needed, varying according to the environment. There is a parallel picture to this in the spiritual realm if we are to produce good spiritual fruit. The next and the last verse in the chapter says, And those who belong to Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. This does not happen automatically. We need to feed on God's word every day and to pray. Paul told the Galatians, We have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit. Thank you for once again joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's word, remembering that it is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.